Little baby bunting. Little baby bunting. Daddy's gonna hunt him. Gone to fetch a... Agnes, it's me, Bill. Retro Horror back for day eight of the 31 horror movies that are Christmas related. Um, so today, <clears throat> watch Don't Open Till Christmas. This is a Mondo Macabre release. It's a 1984 slasher film produced by the same guys that did uh, Pieces. I had a mental break there. Yeah, they did this Pieces. Uh, this is directed by Edmund Purdom, at least part of it. Uh, many people already know the story that this is an extremely troubled production. They went through three directors, starting with Edmund Purdom, who was also the lead actor. He plays the police inspector. Um, and um, he apparently got pulled or, or left the set. Some people say he left. Others, Other people say that he just wasn't get, he was incompetent as a director and they pulled the producers pulled him um whatever you know and then the second director comes along and he's pretty much drunk uh which is what the story was and so two days in he got cut and then a new writer and director came along and rewrote the whole thing and reshot them practically the whole thing so you got a mess of a film but man what a beautiful mess i like i I love this film. <clears throat> I unapologetically like this film. Um, I, I acknowledge it's a mess, but it uh, the editing is terrible. The story is just a mismatch of uh, choppy scenes, one right after the other, choppy scenes. But man, the, the it just has a character and a vibe that uh, I dislike, and I, I forgive it for its sins. The story is uh, an interesting one. The premise is extremely interesting. You've got a slasher film, uh, but this time instead of the Sa Santa being the killer Santa, Santa is the one being hunted. The slasher has hatred for Santa, which he developed as a child, very long, much along the same lines as Christmas Evil, quite frankly, from a plot standpoint. His whole motive is to go around killing Santas, and he kills about 14 of them. Well, not just Santas. He kills 14 people, but uh, you get the idea. There are 14 kills in this, and they're all very gruesome. <clears throat> uh, the film is a nasty, kind of sleazy, grindhouse feel to it. Uh, the, the producers, and I believe the last director... Uh, have a background of sexploitation and you can really see the soft core porn in this um, so you know it, it's got everything I like it's sleazy it's gruddy it's grimy it's it's got a lot of outstanding kills I and mean, you've got Santa's getting their penis chopped off you've got Santa's getting impaled in the eye and the eye rolling off the peep guy's face um, you got you got spikes going through the back of those Santa's head through his mouth. Um, I mean, it's just a it's just a laundry list of kills in this thing. And it, no, does it all tie together and make a nice, neat movie, logical movie? No, that you're not going to get that. It's not going to give you that. But what you are going to get is a very entertaining and gritty ninety minutes. As long as you don't get caught up in. That made no sense. I mean, it's it's not going to make sense. You had three directors. You've got a lot of choppy editing. Uh, so just go with it. Let immerse yourself in it and just enjoy it. The Mondo Macabre uh, release is an excellent, excellent quality transfer. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about it. This has a 51-minute documentary. <laughs> With the producers, that's great, fantastic <clears throat> documentary, well worth the purchase price alone. You've got trailers, Mondo Macabre trailers, which a lot of the trailers are the Bollywood stuff, which I like. I like that a lot too. So yeah, this is a great release, and the picture quality is fantastic. If you if you try to watch this on YouTube, 
I mean, it's so dark and muddy. You can't see it. But I, I, the really, that this transfer was did a great job. It looks great. I had I had no trouble looking at the dark scenes. You could see what you needed to see. So I highly recommend this release. I give this a six and a half. I want to kind of give it a seven out of ten, but it's not it's not a well made movie. It's just it's just a <clears throat> it's a guilty pleasure for me, and I, I'm unapologetic about it. And so with that ends day eight, uh, and I will be back for day nine. Appreciate you watching. Thanks.